all right friends this is us leaving the frack site gonna go into Monahan's, stock up on some food and shit energy drinks tea but uh we've been here for a week about a week and a half now just thought we'd give you an update the company we are working with are very stingy uh i guess whenever you come in you get your training from the person that's been here before and uh they don't charge you for that time they'll only give you half a day your first day i guess they don't they don't pay for your training which is really fucked up considering they're probably making all kinds of money on you and we're on a gate with an entrance gate and an exit gate and i tell you right now the people on the entrance gate can really make or fucking break it for you the ones that we're working with they cook all the time i don't know if you can see them on the video but they cook all the time and uh they'll uh they get real friendly with the people in here i'm pretty sure they talk shit about us probably to make their sales feel better i know one day they were cooking and uh they missed logging in at least 200 cars it's like four hours they had missed logging them in and uh it was it was like from 11 to fucking four or something they hadn't logged anybody in not one car and uh, they called up later and said that somebody got stuck which is obviously not true but whatever and uh it happens all the time but if you're on the exit gate it, it makes it a lot harder when they don't log them in because you have to log them out manually. Another thing, this job is really, really thankless. A lot of the people driving in and out, they, they are really, really, really rude. The guys that drive the sand trucks, though, are mostly very, very nice. Very nice people. They'll wave at you and everything, but a lot of them do not. Really, the big wigs are the ones that are bad because they want to go in the exit gate and they want to fly through there. And honestly... If you're uh, not getting checked out, it's really doing you a disservice. Because, <laughs> I mean, what's going to happen whenever uh, something happens? Say there's uh, something stolen. <clears throat> Say there's something stolen, though, and, uh, and they're trying to find out who it is. Now, your dumb ass didn't check out. You're going to be on that suspect list until they find out who did it or until they can clear you because you were in too big of a hurry to take two seconds to check out. As long as the front gate has put you in, it don't take us more than two seconds to check you out. Another thing, like the guy was saying today, now what if there's an explosion up here and they start looking for a casualty, some victims of the explosion? If you ain't checked out, your family's gonna be sitting around wondering whether or not you were involved. Yeah, they could possibly, you could call them, but still, just take the time to check out. Don't be an asshole. Don't try to run through it. We're not the fucking police. We're not going to chase you down. It really makes our job easier if you do run it. So it's not, you're not getting a prank over on somebody. It's just fucking stupid. But anywho, we really don't mind it other than that. The boss here, though, I don't know about the other guy, but the boss here is really a yes man. They're yes men. They're not going to say anything bad to people. They pretty much just go with the flow and they protect them. I don't know why, but they do. They're, I think they're really, really afraid to uh, get on people's bad side. The guy that, uh, our manager, I guess is what you'd call him, our manager, um, he, uh, he likes to talk shit, but he does nothing in return. He just talks shit. He was talking shit about them uh, cooking and stuff. He said it was gross, but he didn't do nothing about it. So he's kind of ballless too. They're really ballless around here. And I don't know what happened to the good old days when the uh, managers were pure dicks and they actually did something about it and discipline. There's really no discipline whatsoever. People were uh, drink out here and party, obviously. I don't know. It really makes you uh, see why you like dogs more than people. But anyway, it's our start, uh, middle of our second week. We're going to try to stick it out six months so we can waste a lot of money, buy a vehicle, waste a lot of money, and fucking party it up ourselves. But so far, I mean, it's not too bad. It is what it is. Got to take everything with a grain of salt. Don't give a shit what people do. If you don't, you're going to go nuts. 
but there's all kinds of fracking sites out here I don't know how many gates the guard the company we're working with is doing but there's still uh, jobs here so if you're looking to gate guard in Texas don't uh, don't think that you can't find a spot because there's definitely spots out here you might just sit and wait at RV park for a while though but anyway that's it hope we don't sound like we're complaining too much we just want you to know the realities of what you're getting yourself into whenever you come out here it can be uh, fun and it can be a pain in the ass but uh, all in all we don't mind it really we're not going to uh, leave until we get our six months in that's our uh, go. That's it. Have a good one, guys.